Okay, in uh, this video, we're going to go over a couple of commands. We're going to go over the, in the, uh, let's see, tools panel, we're going to go over the raster to vector, uh, right, uh, parametric right here. Uh, and then we're going to go over the push pull command uh, in the um, surface right here, the second command, uh, and that's also parametric. So first, uh, what we want to do is we want to uh, get something out there. Uh, so we're going to use the uh, uh, raster to vector tool. So we'll go to raster to vector and it'll ask us to pick out our picture that we saved. And I'm going to go ahead and open that and it'll throw it up there. Uh, and I'll just go to the top menu and take a look at it. Uh, you can do a lot with this uh, adjusting, but this looks really pretty good for what I'm going to do today. There's a lot you can do with this, and I'll get a little bit more uh, video up. You can tell there's a little uh, gap that you would have to fix if you wanted this uh, arm in there or whatever, or this, uh, this design here in there. Uh, and you can do a lot of that over here in your, your uh, panels on the panel, the dynamic command panel. Uh, but right now, what I want to do is I just want to the outside line for this particular video. Let's show you a little something. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and accept that because all my outside lines are pretty good. They're pretty, it's kind of sharp there. Uh, you can go over here and, and smooth it out a little. smooth it out or you can uh, corner that's what I want uh, the corner tolerance I want to make that a little yeah see there it goes it goes a little out but I want to check everything they're nice and smooth rounded now uh, but as you mess with it you can see you start to get other issues if you're wanting to use everything then y you have to be a little bit more cautious on that or you have to go back in and re uh, uh, split and join all those lines, blend all those lines back together. But again, we're just going to go ahead and we just want in this video to take the outside. So I'm just going to accept this. Hit enter. So here's our lines. Now, this is the most boringest part. It takes the longest. Uh, but the first thing you do, you can see they're all joined together. So there's uh, not much you can do. So you want to go over and ungroup everything. They're all grouped. Now they're all individual. But what we want to do is we just want the outside line for this particular video. So you have to go in and start deleting everything. And it's it's all kind of uh, messed up in there, right? I'm not going to go through all this. I'm just actually going to... I saved it so I wouldn't have to uh, go through all that. So here I have my outside line. Uh, and I went ahead and rejoined everything back together again. You can make adjustments using your control points if you'd like to. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and go to my transform menu and just take it down. Go to scale, 3D, F4, and just bring it down because I don't I don't want it that big. Uh, yeah, so, something like that, like that. Okay, and then now, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and hide it because I want to save it for later. Uh, well, actually, let's bring it back up because we can draw our design around it. That's that's okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, kind of go and show the uh, push-pull command. So first, what I need to do is get me uh, a, a curve out there. And I'm just going to make a little round curve for this particular video. Uh, but you can do any kind and I'm going to start at uh, first change that uh, to yellow. I'm going to start at F4 and then I'm going to draw me a, a little circle around my butterfly. Okay and then next thing is really easy. Uh, just pick your curve, go to your uh, uh, solids menu, go to your extrude plane curve and extrude planar curve straight okay at this point what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to uh, look at pretty much all my views and I'm just going to drag I don't want both sides I just want to go down and I'll make it I don't know somewhere two millimeters something like that and hit enter so now I have a solid surface out here right so this well this surface, we'll change it to green, so now I have a solid surface. 
All right, and this surface is actually attached, to, you know, on the seaplane where I drug, er, uh, where I uh, extruded the curve from. So it's it's already on the surface. If not, you'll have to uh, project it to the surface or uh, pull it to the surface. There's other commands. Uh, we'll, we might go over at a later date. Uh, but here now, what I want to do is I want to go to my surface command, go to my push pull. And then I want to select that curve, and it'll give me some handles, right? So now I can adjust whether I want this curve to go out or go in. In this case, I'm just going to drop it in a little bit, and uh, but you can adjust it however you want. You you know, it's really up to you, uh, whatever you're doing at the time. And I'm just going to hit enter, and that's really the push pull. And uh, of course, I have my original out there and then I have the the original and the cutout so I'm just going to hide the original and now what I'm going to do uh, just to show you what it kind of what you can kind of do with it this could be like a pendant or uh, something for a bracelet or something that you can put a you know bell on there attach it to a charm bracelet or something uh, I'm going to go ahead and explode this surface right now okay so now this these surfaces in the inside here are all everything's separated S but I don't I just want the insides here where the butterflies at to to be uh, separated from the the disk itself so I'm going to uh, change that to another color and then I'm going to group it all together so now it's all grouped to get grouped together uh, the bottom yeah and everything's grouped together and now what I'm going to do is is take all those inside curves and I'm going to go ahead and group them together so now I have all these yellow curves or yellow surfaces uh, group or yeah grouped together or joined together and then I have the one surface so what what you can do from here so I'm gonna take this curve here and I'm just gonna change it to green uh, and you can go to your render okay and then uh, take your uh, s green surface I'll just go to white gold and apply and then I'll take my yellow surface and I'm gonna go all the way down here to I think it's miss ground planes and I'm going to click on this click on this uh, matte black okay and then I'm going to hit apply here so now you can kind of get a little look see uh, what you can do with it there so it's like an antiquing on the inside so now if you put a little bell on there put a little charm place you can put writing on there you could put uh, all kind of you can just go crazy with whatever you think and uh, but that's kind of how to use the rector to vector tool uh, for something like this there's a lot of things you can do with that and we'll, we'll go over some of those other things at a later date uh, and but a server a uh, rector to vector vector tool to get maybe a, a design off the web that you want and then have it put in curves really quick uh, and then also the push pull command all right uh, thank you hope you liked it and uh, please like and subscribe if it uh, helped you in any way possible uh, good good designing thank you